Thermodynamically, solar energy is defined by terms called radiation and heat. In our system, photons and thermal energy travel from the sun all the way through space, then through our atmosphere, and finally to where we live on the surface of the Earth. In terms of energy, the capacity of our system to do work, nothing compares to the sun. It outpowers anything that human technology could ever produce. Only a small fraction of the sun's energy strikes the earth, but just that provides 10,000 times as much energy than what we use in our everyday lives. However, it currently only represents about 1% of the world's energy consumption. Solar energy offers an attractive and clean alternative long-term energy source, but harnessing the energy of the sun comes with challenges. Overcoming barriers in solar energy to make it economically competitive with fossil fuels will require engineering innovations to more efficiently capture sunlight, convert it to useful forms, and store it. Today's solar cells do this at only 10 to 20% efficiency. However, a new conversion process being studied at Stanford University could make solar power production twice as efficient as existing methods. The technique simultaneously uses the photons and previously untapped heat of the sun to generate electricity. And, unlike current photovoltaic technology, which becomes less efficient as the temperature rises, the new process excels at higher temperatures. Called Photon Enhanced Thermoionic Emission, or PEAT for short, the process promises to surpass existing photovoltaic and thermal conversion technologies. PEAT is an extraordinary step in achieving the engineering grand challenge goal of making solar energy economical and is key to a better, more forward-thinking society.